Osio, Dawa Doa Hia Jillian. Hello, my name is Jillian Vaughn. I'm a third year junior electrical engineering major and a proud member of the Cherokee tribe and the class of 2022. Today, as we gather virtually from around the world to celebrate your graduation from UCLA Samueli, I'm proud to give a land acknowledgement on behalf of the American Indian Science and Engineering Society at UCLA. The Samueli School of Engineering at UCLA acknowledges the Gabrielino and Tongva peoples as the traditional land caretakers of Tavangar, the Los Angeles Basin, and Southern Channel Islands. As a land-grant institution, we pay our respects to our ancestors, elders, and our relatives and relations, past, present, and emerging. As we move forward, May all of us continue to recognize the ways that UCLA and its graduates can serve the indigenous peoples of Tavangar. Wado, thank you. Welcome everyone. Good afternoon class of 2021, graduates and honored guests. I'm Yoram Cohen, a professor of chemical and biomolecular engineering and a proud member of the UCLA family for 40 years. It is a great privilege for me to serve as the faculty marshal for the 2021 UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science 57th commencement. While I know we all wished for a traditional ceremony in Poly Pavilion, the safety and well being of our students, their family, and friends continue to be our top priority. As an alternative, Many of our graduates participated in an outdoor in-person celebration at Drake Stadium yesterday, where our graduates were able to walk across the stage, had their names read aloud, and their picture taken with two guests. The last 15 months have been extremely difficult, especially for our students. We are proud of your resilience and your adaptability persevering at times of great uncertainty and challenge. So today, on behalf of the entire faculty, I want to congratulate all of our graduates on this momentous occasion as we celebrate a major milestone in your academic career. Before we get started, I want to share a program note. You could either watch this entire program, which includes degree conferral by all of our departments and the Masters of Science online program with chapter links to different parts of the ceremony. Or, if you prefer, you have the option of clicking on one of the videos listed on the commencement page, which will direct you to a shorter program that only includes degree conferral by an individual department or the online program. Each video will carry the same beginning and the end of the ceremony. Now, to officially kick off today's virtual ceremony, I'd like to welcome our national anthem singer, who is an alumna, Kareen Olga Sinavsky. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket red clear the bombs bursting in Thank you, Karen. Hello and welcome everyone. Parents, family members, friends, 
from wherever you are, uh, I'm so happy that you could join us. Today is an extra special day in the lives of our UCLA Sanyali graduates. You've passed all your exams, you've finished all your projects, and you've completed all your course requirements. And today you've earned an engineering or a computer science degree from one of the best universities on the planet. And so, congratulations. When this pandemic first began, uh, I don't think any of us thought that more than a year later, we'd still be gathering here virtually for our school's commencement. However, I'm very glad that we were able to offer a dedicated in-person celebration for the class of 2021. Uh, it was really terrific to be able to see all of you there, to greet many of our graduates and their guests at Drake Stadium. Uh, and even though I couldn't shake your hand or give you a hug, uh, I hope the fact that we were able to gather together in person brought you and your family and friends uh, much deserved joy and happiness. Uh, I know that some of you uh, may have joined graduates from across UCLA for campus-wide processions uh, in other time slots. I hope these outdoor celebrations allowed you the chance to see some of your friends uh, and to say goodbye uh, to your classmates. Still, uh, I understand that these past 16 months have been tough, right? Uh, COVID-19 has thrown us all for a loop. Uh, and it has especially affected all of our students. You've had to spend your last year at UCLA uh, doing remote learning, uh, taking remote exams, and uh, maybe harder than anything else, you've had to stay away from the friends that you love and from the beautiful campus that you love. On top of that, uh, the turbulence in our country uh, with social injustice and hate crimes targeting different communities uh, have deeply affected many of our students. I know that each of you here today has faced your own share of challenges, uh, but you've made difficult and courageous adjustments. You've stepped up big time uh, to meet all of these challenges with poise, with tenacity, and with ingenuity. And you've shown us all just how resilient you are and what it means to be a true Bruin, uh, to be a problem-solving engineer. I want you to know how very proud I am of every one of you uh, for not relenting and for not giving up under these extraordinary circumstances. I know that your professors, your family, your friends all feel the same way. So let's also not forget that none of us can be who we are without the support of our loved ones. The hardship that your parents and family and friends have endured uh, to see you through the pandemic despite their own challenges, cannot be overstated. I want to give a special thank you to all of them for their devotion and sacrifice uh, that helped our graduates reach this important milestone in their lives. Now, thanks to record-breaking science, uh, we are now blessed with uh, vaccines that are saving lives, uh, curbing the spread of COVID, and bringing much needed relief to our frontline healthcare workers who put themselves in harm's way day and night uh, to take care of so many people in need of help. We all owe them a debt of gratitude. Now at UCLA, we've not shied away from the challenges presented by COVID. Uh, our engineers and computer scientists, including many of our students, have been collaborating with colleagues uh, at the David Geffen School of Medicine uh, and with UCLA Health uh, to develop urgently needed personal protective equipment, PPE, uh, cutting edge testing methods, uh, predictive models uh, that are being adopted by the CDC and uh, vaccine boosters. Uh, while we're not out of the woods just yet, uh, the expanded distribution of vaccines shows that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, and with continuing adherence to public health guidelines, uh, we are hopeful to return uh, to a new normal uh, very soon. Now, you have arrived at a watershed moment for society and for the world. Together, uh, we have gone through an unprecedented experience that has greatly affected not just how we function, 
but the way uh, we relate to one another with empathy and with understanding. And going forward, I cannot think of better preparation for the real world than the strength and discipline that you've demonstrated, taking on one challenge after another, uh, and you've done this with dignity and with perseverance. So no matter what you will encounter in your new endeavors, the foundation and knowledge that you have gained here and the hands-on skills uh, that you've honed, all of these will serve you well as engineers, computer scientists, as innovators, and as entrepreneurs. Now, there's a good reason that Bruins are known as optimists. We've always been ready to engineer change, and even more so, uh, we engineer together to make a positive impact on society and on humanity. Now, it was 75 years ago this June that UCLA School of Engineering completed its first year of instruction with fewer than 350 students. Today, we are graduating nearly 1,800 students from both the undergraduate and the graduate engineering and computer science programs. What an amazing accomplishment for our school and for our students. So today, we celebrate your wonderful achievement, the milestones that you have reached, and the goals that you have met. Class of 2021, you've come through with flying colors, and we cannot wait to see you become tomorrow's leaders in the public or the private sector. And on behalf of everyone at UCLA San Luis School of Engineering, uh, congratulations. We are immensely proud of you. And now I am delighted to introduce our distinguished 2021 commencement speaker, who right the second is traveling in low Earth orbit at nearly 18,000 miles per hour. By the time this entire ceremony is complete, she will have orbited the Earth twice. Megan MacArthur earned her bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering from UCLA in 1993 and her PhD in oceanography from UC San Diego in 2002. Since 2000, Megan has been with NASA and after a long and arduous training to become an astronaut, she was first assigned to the Shuttle Avionics Integration Laboratory and has held other roles at mission control and crew support. Her first mission uh, was in 2009 aboard Space Shuttle Atlantis to service the Hubble Space Telescope, which is one of the most important scientific instruments of all time. Thanks to Megan and her shuttle crewmates, Hubble is well into its third operational decade, with many more years of discovery ahead. More than 10 years later, Space called out to her again, and when I found out that Megan was going to pilot the NASA SpaceX Crew 2 mission this spring, I wrote to congratulate her and to invite her to be our commencement speaker. I was so thrilled when she said yes. And so in April, I went to the Kennedy Space Center to watch her and her crew lift off on her first journey to the International Space Station for a six-month mission. What an extraordinary experience that was. Right now, Megan is the only woman in the international crew of seven that is conducting more than 200 science experiments in space, including new medical research uh, that will help scientists here on Earth fight diseases uh, and help space agencies around the world better understand how space affects the human body so that they can prepare astronauts for a long duration uh, space travel uh, to the moon and to other planets in the future. Now, in the middle of her jam-packed schedule, uh, just two weeks into her mission, uh, Megan found the time to take a 20-minute live interview from our mechanical engineering and aerospace engineering students Proudly wearing her UCLA t-shirt, Megan even took a picture of her alma mater from space and did a few tweets to show her pride in being a Bruin engineer. Uh, we couldn't be more excited uh, that she again found the time to join her Bruin family here from aboard the space station to be our 2021 commencement speaker. Uh, and so without further ado, zooming by somewhere above Earth, our proud alumna, Megan MacArthur. Seven. 
two, one. astronauts from three countries on crew two now making their way to the one and only international space station ucla school of engineering the space station has you loud and clear thank you dean murphy and hello from the international space station fellow bruin engineers congratulations on your graduation from ucla samueli when Dean Murthy asked if I would speak to you on this very special day, I jumped at the chance. This is, after all, my alma mater. UCLA was such an important part of my life, and I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to attend the number one public university in the country as an aerospace engineering major. I honestly can't believe it's been nearly 30 years since my own graduation. I still remember vividly the excitement of putting on my cap and gown and then celebrating as my fellow graduates and I turned the tassel that long ago summer, though I may have napped during other parts of the ceremony. As you mark this important milestone in your personal journey today, I wanted to share a few memories and lessons I learned while I was at UCLA. In 1993, I was a team member on a student project that built a vehicle to compete in the human-powered submarine races off the coast of Florida. For those of you involved in a competitive project at UCLA, this is gonna sound familiar. Our team of six engineering majors had to design, build, test, and retest the submarine. We had to fundraise, stay on a budget, and meet a schedule. While each one of us had a specialty, we were always ready to chip in whenever another teammate needed help. We always worked together to solve technical problems. And even beyond our core team, the technicians and machinists in the shops spent extra time to help us. As the race drew near, we spent days and nights in our lab. On top of that, five of us were seniors and all of us had to keep up with our classes. The whole experience was exhausting, but it was a ton of fun and it was worth every minute. Even though there were a lot of challenges, I took away so much and I learned a lot about being an engineer and a teammate. In fact, that experience was a big part of my journey to become an astronaut. And although a long duration space mission certainly differs in size and scope, when you look at the fundamentals, they're not too far off from your student projects or your experience generally at UCLA. I have some tips to share with you that have served me well, both for my time at UCLA and as a NASA astronaut. Whether you're part of a crew that's embarked on a six month long space mission and have hundreds of engineers, scientists, and technicians all working around the clock to see the mission succeed, or you're a part of a small startup you have to embrace effective teamwork to achieve big goals. It's how engineers all over the world and off the world solve the big problems that we face. For those of you graduating today, I'm sure you had that experience. It will serve you well going forward. Whether it was through a student club or for your class assignments, teamwork, where everyone brings something to the table, is what it takes to achieve big things. The second tip is that of course you have to be prepared when you're tackling big problems. You need to have a plan, and then you need to be flexible and versatile when the plan isn't working. As astronauts, we prepare and train over and over until our brains and muscle memory work in tandem. We work countless hours with some of the best engineers and technical staff around to prepare for any situation. Still, once we're on orbit, unexpected problems are bound to arise. This ranges from the most complex of problems to something as simple and familiar, yet frustrating, as dealing with stuck bolts in the middle of a project. This happened to my crew the last time I was in space while fixing the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope is an amazing scientific instrument with new discoveries seemingly every day. But it had been in space for almost 20 years at that point, and some of its instruments were failing. In particular, Hubble's imaging spectrograph needed a complex surgery that could only be performed by spacewalking astronauts. This instrument helps astronomers unlock the mysteries of the universe by measuring the chemical content, temperatures, and motion of planets and other celestial objects. But it was not designed to be opened up in space. And to get at its power supply, we had to remove a cover panel with over a hundred tiny non-captive fasteners. Our brilliant engineers built a custom tool called the fastener capture plate to carefully remove the screws without releasing them into the telescope. 
But first, in order to install the plate, a handrail needed to be removed by releasing two simple large bolts. No problem, right? Unfortunately, one of those bolts didn't want to come out. After much discussion and rapid ground testing, our crew was directed to just tear the offending handrail right off. So, as I said before, prepare and then be flexible and versatile to find a solution. This is where your UCLA engineering education and experiences come in and will take you a long way toward whatever your goals are. That's because so much of what you'll be challenged with will be open-ended problems and the best solution may not be the obvious one or the easiest or the cheapest. Instead, be thinking about how can you best adapt to the parameters that you're given and the situation that you're in. At NASA, we ask ourselves these questions all the time. What your computer science professors really wanted you to learn wasn't necessarily a specific programming language, but how to use any language to make us all connect better. And if you're a design aerospace engineer, it wasn't just about specific propulsion systems and spacecraft materials. It's how to use that knowledge to build the next level vehicles, the ones that will take humans to other parts of the solar system. Another lesson I've learned in my own journey is don't lose your real passions. The submarine project I mentioned earlier got me interested in exploring the oceans. I earned my PhD at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. And after earning my doctorate, I thought I would be on my way to a research career using acoustical engineering to help unlock some of the mysteries of the ocean. But you know what? The idea of being an astronaut was something that had stayed tucked in my brain from when I was younger. My dad was a career naval aviator stationed at Moffett Field Naval Air Station when I was a teenager. If you're from the Bay Area, it's where those humongous hangars just north of 101 in Sunnyvale are located. This is also where NASA's Ames Research Center is, and as a teenager, I used to watch astronauts arrive to conduct training on the shuttle simulators there. That made me think about space exploration and what it would take to be part of an endeavor like that. So, even though I was on track for a career in oceanography, I took a chance and applied to be an astronaut candidate. Because in the back of my mind, it's what I really wanted to do. And I got selected. I could hardly believe it. And now here I am, working in space. I'm so glad I took that chance. The same goes for you. If there's a passion in you, don't lose that. And if you spot an opportunity, one that you really, really want to pursue, don't be afraid to give it a go. You won't regret going for it, and you might even land it. And don't be too shy about sharing your big dreams with the people around you. You may be surprised by how they can help you. And for those of you out there who have been told growing up that you can't be an astronaut or a mechanical engineer or pursue any other profession because of your gender or where you're from or for any reason, look to NASA. Our diverse workforce achieves amazing things every day by bringing their unique, creative, entire selves to the job. Believe in yourself and believe that you can succeed in fulfilling your goals by working hard and never giving up. So, congratulations UCLA Samueli graduates. You have worked so hard to get your degree, a bachelor's, master's, or PhD. You've put in so much time and effort to reach this milestone. So now it's time to celebrate and it's time to reset for the next part of your journey, wherever it may take you. I'm so honored to be part of this special day with you. Thank you and go Bruins! Thank you for that inspirational speech. I'm now proud to present our student speaker, Manika Grewal. Good afternoon, Dean Murthy, faculty, and UCLA engineering class of 2021. It's actually been a dream of mine to speak at graduation ever since I first toured UCLA. My parents and I wandered into Poly Pavilion, and I asked a tour guide, is this where they hold graduation? Although the numerous national championship banners were impressive, I was more captivated by it being the place where hundreds of the world's brightest minds would toss their caps into the air. As a high school graduate, the college graduate seemed like the real deal. I thought to myself, they have made it through the number one public university, all while pursuing engineering nonetheless. Those are the kids with the top internships, award-winning research projects, and acceptances to the most competitive grad schools. 
Those are the kids who have made it. And so now, here we are, and we are those kids. We've made it. That definitely deserves a grand celebration. The hard work and dedication this has taken, let's take a moment to acknowledge that. Even more so, we did it through a pandemic and a difficult year for so many who were traumatized by racial injustice and hate crimes. A year I can only so tritely describe as unprecedented times. Yet, we have shown our compassion, our resilience, and our support for one another. We rallied together because we could not let it stop us from reaching this moment. Because this is a moment we have worked tirelessly towards for the past so many years of our lives. What does it really mean to make it though? Here we are in this grand moment that we have dreamed about forever. Ask yourself what it truly feels like. Really, close your eyes and think about who you were before you came to UCLA. Think about that person who could only dream of getting accepted, who was in love with the idea of soaking in all the knowledge these red brick buildings had to offer, that aspiring engineer who had no clue what they were in for, the things you'd learn, the people you'd meet, the professors that would shape you, the experiences that would cause you to grow. That person was filled with excitement and fear and ambition and would be so proud of exactly who you have become today and what you have accomplished. Just think about that for a second. You dreamed of getting to this very moment. This moment is of course about celebrating a milestone of academic proficiency. But if we reduce this to a celebration of only accomplishment, we are reducing our time at UCLA to just attaining a degree, to a single moment. I actually used to think life was defined by these types of milestone moments. Maybe you're like me too. I thought if I worked hard and got accepted into my dream college, I could say, ah, I've made it. But then I arrived at UCLA and thought, once I obtain this degree, I will say I've made it. And then I found myself thinking, if I become a CEO while raising a family, then yes, I will have finally made it. I thought about life this way because it made it so much easier to get through the hard parts. And you know the hard parts I'm talking about. The parts where you get rejected from your 15th internship in a row, the parts where you feel like giving up. But then recently, I took a class with Professor Ravitch in UCLA's management school. What he said changed everything for me. He said, life is actually like a symphony. When you listen to a symphony, you listen to the way every single note sounds and interacts with the other notes. You listen to the crescendos and the diminuendos, and all of that together is what makes it sound so beautiful. If you only wait for the grand finale of the symphony, if you're only waiting for that last note, you won't be able to appreciate the whole thing. And life is the same way. If we live our lives through these elusive, I made it moments, then when we think we've made it, we realize maybe we really didn't live it at all. I'm sharing this with you because this insight really reframed my time at UCLA. While keeping my nose to the grindstone to make it here, did I forget to appreciate all the moments that make us UCLA engineering graduates? How many times did I mindlessly walk to class through Bolter's halls, forgetting to appreciate the chatter of passionate students and the sheer number of bright minds in the building? How many times did I attend an office hour, not realizing my TAs believed in me more than I believed in myself? How many times did I nearly fail a test only to realize that I all along possessed the true resilience to succeed? Right? Because aren't all of these moments the moments that come together so beautifully that make college what it is, that make me who I am, that make you who you are, that make this life what it is. This is it. We are here. We did make it. But we aren't just celebrating this moment. We should celebrate every single moment that got us to where we are, the moments that make us UCLA engineering grads. So here's what being a UCLA engineering grad means to me. It's the way the Cease Cafe coffee tastes at 9 a.m. in the morning, it's the feeling on a Friday afternoon when all of your discussions are finally over and you can lay down on jams and soak in the sunshine. It's the unconditional love from my parents and the way my mom would call me the morning before an exam to make sure I didn't accidentally sleep through it. It's getting lost in Bolter my first year and now knowing it like the back of my hand. It's the way that beautiful yellow tree in the court of sciences blooms in the spring. It's every rejection and acceptance email I have ever received. It's the late night FaceTimes with Abby, Andy, and Sid crying over a project and now being able to call them some of my very best friends. I guess what I'm trying to say is, moments matter, and we have a whole life of them ahead of us. 
I have no doubt all of us will go on to achieve incredible things. And it's humbling to know that among us are future industry leaders and Nobel Prize winners and scientists and humanitarians. We all have lofty goals, I'm sure, and I can't wait to see you reach them. But while we are reaching them, don't forget to live every moment of it. Though moments like moving to a new city, or maybe it's making it through your first layoff, or maybe it's holding your child for the first time, or maybe it's hugging your mother for the last time. Those are the moments that will make life, life. And I'm so excited to live them, and I hope you are too. Thank you, class of 2021, for living the past four years with me. Thank you to my parents and professors and faculty, and I hope everyone takes a moment to thank the starry-eyed perspective UCLA student you once were, because we wouldn't be here without their dream, determination, and resilience. Thank you. Thank you for representing UCLA Samueli class of 2021. Uh, this time, we're going to recognize each of our 2021 graduates for the presentation of the bachelor's degree, master's degree, and PhD. We'll proceed alphabetically by department before moving to our online master's program. Again, you can follow along here or click on an individual department's video to watch the degree conferral and the rest of the ceremony. Congratulations, everyone. On behalf of the faculty and staff at the UCLA Material Science and Engineering Department, I want to offer our warmest congratulations to all of you. The knowledge you've gained and the hard work that you've put in will serve you well as you begin the next chapter of your exciting journey. We can't wait to see what's in store for you. I am honored to present the candidates for the bachelor's degree in materials engineering and the master's degree and PhD in materials science and engineering. Young Chen. Christopher Choi. Chung Suk Choi. Ryan Henry DeBlock. Shi Chi Dong. Gina Lin Farelli. Ji Hong Huang. Owen Su Yuan Liang. Tate DeWitt McLaugh. Nilufar Shakurzadeh Chase. Dominic Steamer. Yushun Su. Jishin She. Jing Jing Shui. Gong Chang Yao. Yi Chao Zhao. Shi Chi Zhang. Julen Aristoy Aznar. Neil Vijay Buskut. Ruo Xia Chen. Alex Cheng. K. N. Eric Thomas Fusselman. Jun Yoga Ming Fei He Ko Ching Ho Yin Jin Tung Tung Lin Yan Song Ling De Liang Liu Megana Madala Hao Xiong Ren Manoj Aravind Sankar 
Xiao Yo Su, Victor Tran, Chung Ju Wei, Justin Alexander Wolfman, Annie Zhang, Jiao Lun Zhu, Ritvik Agarwal, Rashed Fayez Atala Al Khlaifat, Daniel Barajas Jr., Maria Isabel Bayardo, Megan Ariel Bokor, Peter Ha Young Chung. Tanya Catherine Fisher, Jesse Alexandra Fleming, Alexander Del Mundo Fuqua, Gabrielle Giuliano, Jordan Maravka Hamill, Connor William Hine. Grant Danley Hushik, Hong Jun Kim, Aditya Konerum, Swohan Austin Lee, Philip Hock Yin Long, Chen Yu Li. Chi Li, Laura Elizabeth Madril, Reina Trunik Meta, Josephine Elizabeth Meyer Hogan, Marcella Michelle, Varun Tejil Naik. Matthew Tuan Khan Wen, Herbert Ramos, Syed Muhammad Ali Rafai, Adeline Kennedy Rhodes, Meredith Patricia Sanderson, Rens Sarakadin. Andrew Albert Celius, Juan Manuel Silva Ruiz, Arvind Kaushik Swaminathan, Tini Tinka, Forrest James Wisicek, Joshua Lewis Zamek. Class of 2021, welcome back. I hope you've had the opportunity to enjoy uh, this wonderful moment with your department chair and with your fellow graduates. Now, we have a special message for you from none other than UCLA Chancellor, Jean Block. Congratulations to the UCLA Semioli School of Engineering Class of 2021. Reaching this milestone would be a great accomplishment in ordinary times, and it is a true feat today. I also want to thank and congratulate the family members, friends, and mentors who have stood by and supported our graduating Bruins. We should all take pride in this special moment. And graduates, my hope is that you look back fondly on your time at UCLA and all that you've learned and contributed. I know it was not without its challenges. As students in engineering and computer science, you completed some of the most rigorous and thought-provoking courses offered at our institution. You grappled with questions, theorems, and principles, and worked with renowned faculty to help develop applications and solutions to improve society. And this past year, you did it all while contending with a pandemic and the difficulties of learning and researching in a mostly remote environment. Even as you were challenged by COVID-19, though, 
You also contributed to the fight against it. The pandemic has shown that the work of scientists and engineers is critical to the public good. The UCLA Samueli community stepped up in so many ways this year, from pioneering faster and more scalable COVID-19 testing technology, to developing a machine learning model to help the CDC predict the spread of the virus, to 3D printing personal protective equipment for frontline healthcare workers. As tragic events of the past year have rightly reignited calls for racial justice, you've also recommitted to advancing equity, diversity, and inclusion in your fields. In just one example among many, UCLA Women in Engineering, or WE at UCLA, created and implemented a new curriculum to demonstrate the need for inclusion and to help ensure all students can succeed in STEM fields. This is why I have no doubt that as UCLA graduates, you will contribute to building a better, healthier, and more just world. Because you've already been doing that. You've taken our university's service mission to heart, identified needs both at UCLA and the broader society, and applied yourselves to filling those needs. Now as we look toward a recovery from the pandemic and face other existential challenges like climate change, your tenacity, creativity, and talents will be needed more now than ever. In the years and decades ahead, I encourage you to hold on to a sense of public mindedness, of civic duty, of the need to contribute to the greater good. This June marks 75 years since classes were first offered at what was originally known as UCLA's College of Engineering. You now join a proud tradition of distinguished and influential alumni who have gone into space, discovered cancer therapies, and invented the internet. Alumni who have created breakthroughs that have fundamentally improved our lives. You too will become tomorrow's leaders in industry, academia, and civic life. Guided by your values and equipped with your skills and knowledge, I cannot wait to see what you'll accomplish. While today marks a change in your relationship with UCLA, please remain connected with UCLA Samueli and with the UCLA Alumni Association, whether as mentors or advisors or lifelong learners. Our campus community and future Bruins will be better for it, and we promise it will be rewarding to you as well. Congratulations again. Savor this moment. And I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you, Chancellor Block. Uh, Now, please also take some time after the ceremony uh, to enjoy all the congratulatory video clips from your fellow Bruins, favorite professors, helpful staff, and UCLA Samueli alumni. Uh, While they may not be sharing this day with you uh, in person, I know how tremendously proud they are of all your great accomplishments. Now, before I let you go off to celebrate with your family and friends, we have one more tradition to honor, and we're going to do this together. Bachelor's degree candidates, please have your tassels ready to turn. Masters and PhD recipients, please have your hoods ready to don. May you remember this day as a benchmark of your great journey. May you march forward with fond memories of UCLA Samueli, and may you take pride in your abilities to engineer change that will benefit many generations to come. And now, by the power vested in me by the Regents of the University of California, I am proud to announce to the degree candidates before us that you have completed all requirements for the degree and are now UCLA graduates. Congratulations, Fiat Lux, and go Bruins! Congratulations, class of 2021. We are proud to welcome you as Samueli alumni. Class of 2021, congratulations on your momentous achievement. We are so proud of your determination for making it through this past year. Time to get out there, Bruins, and make our world a better place. Congratulations to the class of 2021. A big shout out to those who were in my CS133 class last quarter. Hello, graduating seniors. This is Bill Gooden. I want to congratulate you on reaching this important milestone in your lives. 
and I wish you success in the next phase of your career as you move on to graduate school, industry, or government. I hope you keep in touch with us at UCLA and UCLA Engineering and come back and visit us on campus. Go Bruins! Congratulations, class of 2021. We're proud of you. Oh, I didn't see you there. Congratulations on your graduation. Oh. Congratulations, class of 2021 graduates. You did it. Congratulations, class of 2021, especially to chemical engineering seniors. I will always remember and appreciate how we worked together last March to make the transition from regular class to online learning. You have accomplished a great deal during this challenging time. You can do anything. We are so proud of you. Congratulations, go Bruins. Congratulations, class of 2021. Boy, this past year has been a doozy, but one thing it's made really clear is how much we need you to go out into the world and use what you've learned at Samueli Engineering to improve our healthcare, rebuild our infrastructure, and make this a better world. Go Bruins! As you look at this grid of OASA counselors, I'm sure you can find your counselor who helped you out through a tough time or helped you get your schedule in order. And we just all wanted to say, we are so proud of you. You've done a great job. Congratulations and go Bruins! Yay, Yay. congrats! Congratulations! Congratulations. Congrats. Congrats, class of 20. Congratulations! Hey, Bruin Engineers, it's Professor Candler here. Congratulations, and we're really proud of you. Congrats to the class of 2021, and thank you for all of your amazing contributions to the UCLA community. To all the graduates, family members, and friends, congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, class of 2021. Well done. Hey, all you ECE grads, congratulations. I'd love to shake your hand. Um, maybe we'll meet in the future, but congratulations and best of luck. Congratulations, class of 2021. Woo! Congratulations, class of 2021. Congrats, class of 2021. You did it. Congratulations, class of 2021. <laughs>